tell us a bit about yourself. What's your background? You know, how did you come across this? Things like that. My name is Hajara, as you mentioned. I have a degree, first degree in agriculture technology, and I opted for economics and extension, and a second degree in irrigation and drainage engineering. With what if foods, we are the producers of the Bambara granules, producers as in we engage with our partner farmers. So what we do is we identify the challenges within our, the, in these communities, then we provide solutions to them, as that is our motive to help solve these issues. Why did you choose to work with the Pond Foundation? Let me say um, the biggest drive is I love to put smiles on people's faces. To know that Bambara is, um, is something that will really improve their livelihood I said, why not? In fact, I even resigned immediately and then hopped on this project. <laughs> Yay, that's so awesome. So how do you feel about what What If Foods does? It's, it's so amazing. I, I, I wish you experienced what we, we experience when we go to the field. Mingling with farmers, going to the farm, touching the soil, nature, seeing the smiles on their faces and especially the women. The women are always happy when their kids go to school with learning materials available to them. Mm -hmm. They are able to carry out their activities both on farm and off farm. And that really um, give us more um, energy and excitement to deal with our women. I did hear that you are a feminist. So I heard that when the guys step out of line, you put them back in their place. Is that true? They try to say something that is not in place just to say, oh, for example, after harvesting and we need to pay the money through the men. Why should that be the case? Were the men those who farmed? So I have to quickly come in and let them know that uh, is the woman who farmed from day one and she's supposed to enjoy the fruit of her harvest. As simple as that. So what is the one thing about Ghana or the What If project that you want everyone to know? Women empowerment. <laughs> <laughs> Livelihood empowerment for women. You need to see the smiles that women put when we go to the field. They are so happy. <laughs> Bambara is being revived, it's not forgotten, it's now coming back to life, and it's through them. They can be the drivers of um, Bambara pro, um, production in Ghana. It's just so amazing that, like, you know, it's so sweet and at the same time so empowering and, like, very encouraging for women. So, yeah, that's really awesome. Okay. Uh, women are doing great here. They, they take care of the kids, they support their family. <laughs> They, they are really doing well. They take care of their husbands, their children, their in-laws, a whole lot of things. So if this group are being empowered financially, what else would we lack? Thanks to What If Fund Foundation and Rural AgriHope for such a wonderful initiative in Ghana. I'm so proud to be a member. <laughs>